Turkey's Istanbul to Ankara high-speed railway was built by China. In today's Belt and Road series, Zhou Yue talked to Chinese contractors and to some of the passengers. It was a first for the China Railway Construction Cooperation, but also a first for Liu Lin. He has been the underground man for China's largest railway contractor for six years. And it was a rough beginning. Chinese state-owned company and the foreign private-owned companies. This is like a marriage between the marriage uh, from afar. To make the marriage work, Liu tried every way to bridge the differences. Execution, efficiency, no excuses. $1.2 billion and four years of intensive construction later, China's first high-speed rail built outside the country has become a reality. So far, it has turned out to be a success. But to see how successful it is, we took the train from Ankara to Istanbul. And we were allowed access to the driver's cabin. How different is it driving yeah. a high-speed line yeah. with a traditional, yeah. conventional yeah. line? It's a bit uh, comfort. 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 Uh, yeah. Safety. Security. Security. The ticket for first class costs $30, much cheaper than air. The journey between Istanbul and Ankara by rail is four hours and most of the riders are business people. So the time is very important for us, uh, so that uh, also the airports uh, far away from the city center. And also uh, the train stations is located in the city center. So you can earn three or two more hours in one day. But the high-speed rail network is far from complete in Turkey. And train travel is still not the first option for many travelers. But the story of high-speed trains will probably go on, as Turkey wants to add more high-speed tracks connecting its east and west. It was a convenient and comfortable trip. It may not be the first choice for many Turks yet, but it opens a new chapter of railway traveling between Asia and Europe. So, yeah. CCTV News, Istanbul, Turkey.